Welcome to SCORE, the best kept secret. Hi, my name is Steve Davis and I'm your host today. We have a very exciting story today and our, we have two guests join us and we're talking, we're here in Schuylkill County highlighting the good works in, in the Pottsville office, highlighting the good works in Schuylkill County. And uh, joining us is Mary Jo Moss, the program manager of the Yay Academy, which is Youth Entrepreneur Academy. And also uh, joining us is Mr. Colin Felty, who is a very ambitious uh, young entrepreneur and has an outstanding story to tell us about what he's achieved so far. So let's lead off with uh, uh, Mary Jo, can you tell us Give us a little background on Yay, how it got started, and uh, where you are in your process. I'd love to, Steve. Thanks for having us today. The Young Entrepreneurs Academy is a national program. It started in Rochester, New York, and it started with a grant from the Kauffman Foundation. Schuylkill County started our chapter just three years ago. Three. Right, just three years wow. ago. We are just launching our third class, the class of 2017. We have 23 students. We're very excited to move those students through the process of the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. And uh, we, are, we are full of children who are from our regional schools that are aged grade 6 through grade 12, age 11 through 18. That's quite a span. We actually are representing nine different districts in our area. Okay, nine different districts. And how many students are enrolled in uh, Yay? We have 23 students this year. Wow, and you started the first year, how many were enrolled? The first year we had 13 students. Okay, so you're growing. We are growing. You've almost doubled. We have almost doubled. Um, the maximum number of students that we are allowed to take is 24. Oh, so you're almost maxed out. Well, congratulations, and that's good. Thank and you. the the outcome you're looking for uh, with uh, your Yay graduates is well. What's unique about the Young Entrepreneurs Academy is that we start our students, and by the end of our program, they are CEOs who run their own businesses. They launch real businesses into our community. Wow. Wow, and you mentioned this is nationwide, so they uh, people can uh, apply for a grant uh, wherever in Pennsylvania or wherever, and they can uh, start a Yay Academy. It is run through the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, so, so the connection is the Chamber of Com Commerce. It is okay. It All is right. so the Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce launched this program just three years ago in 2014. Okay. And graduated the first 13 students. We did have 100% graduation. Excellent. Yes. Uh, the students do very, very well. Um, it's a pretty intense program. We start with um, three-hour classes once a week. Okay. So that's, it goes for 30 weeks, and so the students really put a lot into it. Um, would you agree, <laughs> Colin? Yes, <Yeah, laughs> <so. laughs> All right. You, yeah, All right. They, they work hard. So it, it's 30 weeks, but in the course of that 30 weeks, we do six field trips. Okay. So, so those field trips actually go behind the scenes of some of our businesses. We do a food franchise field trip. It's just an exciting time. You went to Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. This year we're going behind the scenes at McDonald's. Oh. So it, it's really a fantastic experience for our students. And how, was, uh, how do you interface with SCORE as part of YAY in the chamber? Well, interestingly enough is I am the program manager. However, this program actually works and is successful because of the volunteers that come from our business community. Last year we graduated nine students and we had 75 business people participate and contribute to those students' success. Wow. That's incredible. That's, that's, that's a strong commitment from the business community. So now we need to get to some important stuff, some nuts and bolts. So Colin, thank you for coming and we're excited to have you here. How did you hear about Yay in school? Can you tell us about how you heard about it and got started? Well, my mom, she told me through my foreign exchange student who wanted to do it, so she asked me if I would like to do it as well. Okay, okay, and are you glad you did? Yes, I am. And why are you glad you did? I'm glad because now I'm a CEO and I am actually running my own business and we're starting to make a little bit of profit as we're going through this experience. A little bit of profit. Well, it's a lot, but we're still getting out of debt, so right now it's still a little bit because it's only a little bit towards getting out of the debt that we're in currently. Words of a true businessman. 
We're, we're watching our money. We're, we got a little debt, but we're getting out of it, and we have a plan. Here's a 12-year-old here's a businessman, folks, so you don't have to be 45 to be a business person, right? Yep. Yeah, and you watch your numbers, correct? Yes. Okay. C can, you, can you tell me about what do we have here? What are we selling? What so, are we making? So when I first started off, I started off with the duct tape and cardboard model because I needed a prototype to go through the class. So this is what I started out with. And then I got a 3D printed model to start off. It's a really 3D printer? Yes. Wow. It was really rough to start off. So then we went to a 3D printed model that's a little bit more refined. And we decided to cut a little bit off. And that's when we got to the blue one. And we decided to do blue because a lot of sports teams are blue. And we were looking into getting it kind of like printed with those sports teams logos. So then we got the company and we asked if we could do more colors. And they said yes. So the next order, which is in 800s, we went and we did two colors, 400 orange and 400 black through a survey that we did through social media. Wow. Now I'm trying to get my head around from duct tape to a 3D printer. Uh, so, and, and, I, and I'm struggling with that because this is called design evolution, correct? Yes. So, I, and where uh, you sell this and what do you call your product? I call it the scoop cup holder. The scoop cup holder, yes. okay. All right, and how many have you made? We have made 1,600 of them. 1,600? Yes. And how many have you sold? We sold a little over 1,000, so we still have about 600 left. No wonder you're in debt. If you've made 1,600 of these holders and you've sold 1,000, that's pretty impressive. Our, our, uh, how long did it take to sell 1,000? Um, it took about six months, probably, since I, I started it in about like July, and we have sold those ten uh, those 1,000 through the course of about four months. Excellent, so. excellent. Now I understand there's some family members helping you with uh, social media. Is that correct? Yes, my sister. She is 25, and she helps us with Facebook and the social media part of it. Thanks. Okay, so it's a, it's a true family team effort. It's, you do a lot on your own, but you need help from others. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, good for you. Good for you. So, what would you share with an, uh, people that are looking at Yay? Do you have any uh, insights or anything else, or just encourage other people to get involved? What what, what would be your recommendation to other uh, students considering Yay? I think anyone who has the time and who wants to be a CEO of their own business and they're in grades 6 through 12 that you can do it. When I went into it I was in the 6th grade and I graduated with some seniors, some juniors and I got second place with nine other, with nine other students. Outstanding. So now you're a student so this school thing so are you able to keep up with school is there is there a requirement you have to keep a certain grade level in order to do this I, there's no requirements but it's easy to keep up with school because you still have time to do things I think the classes are now what is it 5 30 to 8 30 so you have time afterwards to do your school work and uh, get things done before you actually go there oh good for you good for you and Mary Jo, do you have any stories to share about the overall YAY program on uh, students and how it's uh, uh, inspired and motivated them? Absolutely. Um, when we look at the students who come through this program, it's not just about the business aspect. These students actually gain confidence. They learn how to interact with adults. They become very responsible. They learn how to do, to do presentations. One of our big public events is called our investor panel. So it's a shark tank like ah. situation. So each one of the students, no matter how old they are, Colin was 11 years old and he did a fantastic job. Each one of them must go before our judges panel and present their business. They have a very detailed business plan that mentors help them put together and they have their ask for the amount of funding that they, re they are requesting. So the Excellent. presentations in the beginning of the class, the students are a little bit um, unsure yeah. about how to present themselves, but by the end of the class, they're right up in front of those judges, they're confident with what they're doing, and they really grow.
Excellent, excellent. So anyone who's concerned about today's youth sitting around doing video games and things like that, uh, Colin here is an excellent example, and it sounds like Mary Jo has a lot more in the YAY program that are very motivated and inspired, and they're doing some very productive things with their lives and preparing for you know life after high school. So again, thank you both uh, for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us. SCORE is free and confidential. We're the best kept secret, and we appreciate you sharing this story with us. Thank you. Check back next week for more stories from SCORE, the best kept secret here on the People Chronicles. Like us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube. If you would like to access our services or volunteer with SCORE, visit our website, berkschoolschoolscore.com.